the place where we lived at the top of the hill had been a had an apple orchard on both sides of the house. So we used them and we had a kind called what was his name again? Can't think of the name then. The little apples that turned were green and turned yellow. Transparents, that's what they were called. And they were the first ones to get ripe enough to eat, and we couldn't wait for those transparents to get yellow. And they were way ahead of the other apples. And we had some, I don't remember the name of them. We had uh, some that were dark red, and they had red veins all through them. The white part was almost pink from all the red of them inside. And they were not, absolutely not sweet at all. They were a hard apple and they were good for cooking. They made good pie and good applesauce, but you couldn't eat them raw because they just weren't good. And then they had one that I don't know what the name really was. They call them folly waters. And I don't know if that was the name or how you spell it. And they were winter apples. We buried them a couple feet or less of dirt and then cover them with leaves or straw or both and in the winter we'd dig them up and they would be so good so much better because they were rested under underground for a while for a couple months and they were covered well enough they didn't freeze and so sometime in December or January we could have fresh apples that we just dug out of the ground. And the deer used to come to the orchards in the winter and eat apples that were falling to the ground. But that's the only time we saw herds of deer was when they were hungry enough to come near the house and eat apples. They'd even eat them if they were somewhat rotten. And deer supposedly got intoxicated on some of the raw apples. I don't know if they really did or not. Some of them acted kind of peculiar.